Hey, everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tiffany, and today's video, I'm filming it on my phone. I cannot find my charger for my camera battery, so here we are. <laughs> yeah, I'm not playing. I truly, I'm truly not playing. I have no idea what that thing is, like, at all. So I'm gonna have to figure out, like, what I really got going on today. I don't know. So I have two nails missing. They're both middle fingernails. What can I do? Nothing. So we're gonna just jump right into it. I haven't filmed a video on my phone in over a year. The last time I think was when I first got my Pro Max, my 11 Pro Max. I wanted to see like what it would be giving and if it was really like that chick. So that is why I filmed that video. But today we're filming this video on my phone out of necessity. You guys will probably see this video before you see any video that I have because my computer has been on a fritz. I think the boy spilled some juice on it and it's been out of whack ever since. So I really don't know what's good with that. So I have videos I need to edit so I have to get them to my phone. And it's just a whole thing. So today we're doing some makeup and that's just that. Today, actually, I do want to do um, a, the title should say it once I'm done, because I know I'm rambling, but I do want to do a trend that I won't be ditching in 2021. And that's friends that I'm holding on to for dear life, regardless what everybody else is doing, this is what I'm doing. We're holding on to these babies, okay? So that's what we're gonna be filming today. Um, I'm so sorry that my like makeup uploads have not been consistent, but we're getting it together. But if you guys are interested in seeing that, then make sure you stay tuned to subscribe button before we jump into it and let's just go girl. Okay, we're gonna jump right into the makeup. I'm gonna use this Wonder Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil first. I'm using a matte foundation today and I don't want to be super dry, so <sighs> that's why I'm using this. And that's going to act as my actual primer today. So the first trend that I am not letting go of no time soon is color correcting. Now I did color correcting once before, like not once before, but before and now I cannot live without it. I cannot find my LA Girl orange corrector shade. That's the one that I prefer using. I'm just going to go pick up another one. But I'm going to use this Jekka Black Liquid Corrector. But I have been dying on that hill. Like, I don't know. It just makes such a difference to me now. I really thought it was a scam at first. But it makes such a difference now. This is like a peach shade. So, hopefully, ew, it does what it needs to do. But it's not given that that's what it's going to do. And I'll put some under my eye. So yeah, this is hella light. My normal is, like I said, the LA Girl. And that one is thick. And all that. I'm going to let this dry down. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend it out and then I'll be back because it's going to take a while to dry down. This is kind of like, I don't know how to describe what it is. but it's Okay, I'm back to do my eyes. I did go in and put on my brows, which brought me to another trend that I'm not leaving behind ever, cleaning up my brows with concealer. I don't know what craziness happened that made everybody think it was a crime against humanity but I promise you, you're not finna catch me without cleaning up my brows, okay? Especially when I have the red brows. No. No, sir. No, ma'am. It's not happening. These brows are gonna forever get cleaned up. And that's just that on that and Mary and the lambs in them, okay? I don't got time for that. But the next trend that I'm not ditching because a lot of people are trying to ditch it. But a lot of people ain't me. is a cut crease, honey. I don't care if it's a matte cut crease, a cut crease with some shimmer on the lid, with some loose glitter on the lid, with a pressed pick, a little child, I don't care. Whatever it is, 
a cut crease is always going to be welcome in my house okay and that's just on marrying them so i'm going to take the morphe 35m palette y'all haven't seen this palette in so long i haven't used it in so long honestly i don't even feel like i should be using this anymore because i've had it for so long um but we're using today we're going to be using the greens and then a couple of the purples down here i'm not really gonna hold y'all and be holding the palette up every time i uh change to a different color but i will tell you guys i'm dipping into the two greens that is stroke of luck and express yourself and this is going to i'm gonna pat it on my eye first before i actually get the blender out because i don't set my um concealer on my lid and I don't want anything. I don't want like the color to skip or anything. And let's be realistic. I know how Morphe shadows be doing sometimes. And they really be trying it sometimes. So you just want to make sure you get as much pigment as you can. And I'm kind of going to swirl it around the front of my brow. Like, doing this on my phone, I'm doing this on my front camera so I can see if my phone's not recording or something, not my back camera. I could do it on my back camera, but I digress. That would be worse because since obviously it's my phone, so I don't have like a viewfinder or nothing. So it, I'm so far away. Like, I'm physically not far away, but I'm far away. Like, I'm gonna, you know, zoom this clip in, like cut the clip so when you guys see it i'm closer but i might insert a clip which is me this far away actually how far away i am on the intro and the outro is going to be how far away i am in general so it looks when i'm looking at myself i look so far on the camera and it's getting far so i'm gonna dip into like this burnt orange shade that's called red child is called red carpet um anyway this is gonna go in the crease like all the way across my eye and i am gonna like blow it out just so the color is all the way across this i put that i don't care about this i look like it's sitting higher but honestly i don't even care so i'm gonna be cutting my crease with the fenty beauty um eyeshadow what the fuck is this called Pro Filter Amplifying Eye Primer. I'm just gonna put that on my eye. Just note that this is like clear. This like actual pigment is clear. But because I have color in my eyes, it's obviously going to change the color of the primer. But this primer is clear. So just know if you put it on your eye and you already have shadow on there, it is gonna dirty up the wand. I'm not really too worried about that. I'm more so worried about my primer drying down because when I do matte, even when I do shimmer sometimes, but when I do matte cut creases, I need my eye to be like tacky and pretty much matte when I try to put the shadow on. Cause if you use concealer and your eyeshadow primer is wet, your eyeshadow is gonna skip. So that's just something to note. Okay, so my eye is done. My crease is be done being cut. You can't really tell on this side because the colors are kind of all like a similar toned because I have green in my crease like you just saw. Um, but I do have a little cut crease actually going over here. So I'm gonna take that lightest shade of green, the Stroke of Luck. And I'm just going to pack that on my lid. I'm going to line my eye with this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in Weiss.
And then I'm going to take this deep purple shade at the bottom. It's called Transformer. And I'm going to just buff this out. put it on this side i'm taking that purple shade and putting it on the outer corner of my eye and then brushing it into the cut crease okay so that seems right i'm gonna clean up on the corner i probably won't pop my lashes on yet because normally i like to wait until I'm, my face is done um but I'm going to clean up the side. I'm back. So I decided to not put my lashes on right now, but I did clean up my eyes. They look really good. Yeah, they do. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into foundation and concealer. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Something that I really feel some type of way about is people trying to come for people that still like a bright under eye. Like, I don't understand. Oh, I don't have no more of this concealer. I'm about to cry. another one but I think that one might be me too <laughs> okay so that's trash rest in peace R.I.P. L'Oreal infallible <laughs> one of my favorite concealers you are OG honey you are OG you are OG <sighs> Lord. Lord. okay to go through that to grow through that okay but i don't understand how people will be hating on people be wanting to have an extra bright under eye sis if you can't pull off an extra bright under eye just say that if you think it will look crazy when you just say that like just say that i promise we don't care right we don't care i'm not leaving that that's not just a treat to me. That's a lifestyle. A bright under eye is a lifestyle. The only time I don't have a bright under eye, honey, is when I don't have on no makeup. When my bags are protruding. And these creases is creasing. <laughs> I can't believe it. I could not believe people. Why is this sponge really that good, though? Why do I look so dark? Like, not my complexion. Just, like, my color. I feel like I look super dark like is it because i'm sitting back i don't really know honestly i don't even really care but i'm gonna go ahead and take this other girl pro concealer in the shade creamy beige but yeah i don't understand like i get if you're like it's not an everyday look for you but please don't bash nobody and tell them they look stupid because they want drama honey they want sass we want brightness okay i don't like that i don't like i don't like people acting like because they don't do it it can't be done like what is exactly is that giving for people to feel that way like what are you gaining and i'm not leaving that trend okay i am not leaving that trend a trend i do feel like we need to leave behind it's not a makeup thing is you having to lay down your edges to live your best life because i can't tell you the last time i laid down my edges and my hair is freshly done right now and i didn't even lay my edges when i did it like mm, i'm completely all right with that not being a thing. Let's normalize not laying down your edges because honey, I don't be having time. I do have time, but I don't wanna do it. So, that's just how it is. Look at that. I can't have a bright under eye, but look at the material. Look at 
the material. Like this looks pretty. This is a good sponge. Like this is an L sponge. This is a good sponge. Cause I already know this L sponge is, a, she's the end all be all for me, for your girl. I'm gonna go ahead and contour my nose. Also that's another thing. If people wanna contour their nose, honey, why are you so bothered? I'm packing this up and taking it with me. No, not because I feel like my nose is fat. And even if it was, so the fuck what? Um, but because I like it and I feel like it complements the rest of my makeup when my nose is somewhat structured. That's just what I feel. Like, if you don't feel like that's your vibe, then so be it. But that's how I feel. I'm going to take one pump of, what is this? The matte Born This Way. Take one pump of this. I might need a little more, but probably not. I'm going to go ahead and buff this in. Oh, I didn't put no blush on. Oh, can we talk about the coverage, the color, the material with this Born This Way matte? I feel like this is definitely not the same color chai. This is the shade that I had this in, by the way. This is not the same color chai that the original formula was in. I 100% don't think it is. But with that being said, I prefer this shade over the original shade. It is definitely... more matchy matchy for me than the original chai like the original chai worked but she wasn't like that girl for me but this this she's that girl like i don't know why i haven't used her in a while but i really have been letting myself like down because baby she's giving face okay should I put on my liquid blush my cream blush I know nope, I already did what I need to do with my foundation and stuff and normally I do that prior to putting on my foundation I do it when I do my concealer so we're just gonna skip it for today And maybe you'll regret it later, but I don't put it on after I powder my face. So I pretty much set myself up for failure with that one. So anyway, I'm going to carve out my nose. That's crooked. That still seems a little crooked, but... Oh well, that color corrector was trash. I don't really be liking to call products out like that. Like, cause trash is harsh, but it's trash, okay? Very much trash. Okay, I'm gonna be taking the Morphe bronzer in liter. And this stuff is pigmented and you do get a lot of kick up and a lot of product when you dip your brush in there. So make sure when you do dip your brush in there, you tap off the excess because I need this thing. She bites back. And I do mean bites back. I try to just bronze like around here and not too much like right in the middle. If I do, I try to make sure it's like pushed all the way back on my hairline because I have done one too many times 
where I put my bronzer down too low on my forehead and my forehead is not big. So really it was given, I tried it. That's very much what it was given. I will say another trend I'm not leaving behind is baking. But realistically speaking, I don't bake my face. I just like bake around my nose. Like I don't bake my under eye. It's pretty dry under there. And I'm not trying to give all of that. I mean, I'm not trying to give. Oh, shit. she went hard in the paint on that nose today, baby. But another thing in general that I'm not leaving behind, and I really hate when people be trying other people, is my full beat. I get that we're moving into a natural, like, vibe. But if I want to go out the house with spackle, baby, I'm going out the house in spackle, period. And nine times out of ten, it's either I got on all the makeup, or I got on none of the makeup because who the died and said that all y'all that got something to say was in charge. I just want to know who personally put y'all in charge because I would like to speak to the manager and maybe you're not her. Who said that you got to we going, we, as in the collective, is going natural. Girl, if I want to put 17 pounds of foundation on my face, that is my prerogative. I'm allowed to. Why are you so worried about it, though? Let's talk about it. Why are you so bothered? What is it giving for you? Like, what are you losing and or gaining for me putting on that much makeup? Last time I checked, nothing. You wasn't losing or gaining nothing because, baby, you don't know me. But I always get that. It's always a, who? what well, I could never wear that much makeup. Exactly. You could never. That's why you don't. Like that be that be the gag for me. That is exactly the gag for me. Oh, I I wouldn't, baby. You won't because you can't. It's not for lack of effort. You just can't. And I'm not even trying to be no hater. But let's call a spade a spade, baby girl. Like you can't. And that's why you don't. It's not. You don't really have many options. Cause you're not even in the running. You're not even in the, what are you in? Nothing that I got going on. That's for damn sure. Okay. I'm going to do my lower lash line now because I'm just about done my makeup. I just have to spray my face and I guess this whole video isn't necessarily trends I'm not leaving behind so much as, well, yeah, it is, but I'm just, that's not the only thing I'm talking about. So even though I don't have right now another trend that I'm ditching at the moment to talk to you guys about it, doesn't mean it won't like it's not a thing like it won't come up so i'm gonna put some highlight in my inner corner and i'm gonna take this with this pretty green shade mm, yes oh uh, girl that's it that is the mother trucking one right there that 
tis it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like even just look how dry my nose looks right now. This is exactly why I don't necessarily bake my face because if I did, this shit will really be out of hand. Where's my fucking spray? Is it spray? This isn't spraying right now. I guess I'll put my highlighter on right now since we're here. This is this is the last. This is the last trend. I'm not ditching the highlighter. Everybody is really on this. We don't need highlighter train. You're absolutely right. You don't need highlighter. You don't need an abundance of highlighter. But if I want to wear. six pounds of highlighter mind your business because for me it's mostly no I don't want to wear seven pounds of highlighter on my cheeks mainly because this cheek never cooperates not because I don't like highlighter but even if I wanted to wear it every day all the time and that was my vibe are you gonna fight I didn't think so I didn't think so, okay? Okay. So, shit, I don't have my, I don't know where none of my, my other setting spray is, cause this one is just not even working. And right now it's not giving off the top of my head where it is, I have no idea. Like, I really don't even have the slightest idea. I'm going to go ahead and use this, I'm about to say MAC, Maybelline New Embrace Lipstick. This is a matte lipstick. It is. It is a matte lipstick. It absolutely is. Is this the vibe? I don't know. I really don't know. Um, oh, let me put on some, a little bit of highlighter. While well, I'm talking trash about it. I don't really wear highlighter on my cheeks no more, like I said, but I feel like this video calls for it. So we're doing it, boo. So once I find my actual spray to set my face so I don't look like the Sahara Desert, then I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. And this is exactly what I thought it was supposed to be. This is exactly what I needed it to do, where it needed to happen. And also, if you don't like big lashes, baby, just don't wear them. But you don't got to comment every time me or someone else has on long lashes. Okay, baby, we see them. They're on our eyeballs. We know they're long. Move on. Take a picture. It lasts longer and it'll probably be cute. So, hmm. Hmm. But anyway, how do you guys like my hair? It is, in fact, half and half. It is, in fact, I will insert a picture somewhere in here but it is indeed a good old half and half honey i was channeling my inner may eh. Eh. i was channeling her but these little space buttons really yeah, i'm really living with these little space buttons i slept like this and everything but if you guys like this video and you want me to do more videos like in this sort of way when i like talk about something specific and do my makeup or let me know that in the comments also, let me know if you made it this long and this far in the video, leave me the 100 emoji down in the comments. Subscribe before you go if you didn't already. And let me know what trends you are not leaving behind, which ones you're carrying with you until the end of your days. I would like to know. So, like I always tell you guys, I'm your girl Tiffany. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.